G'day guys, my name is CJ. Now everyone has items that they use and carry around day in, day out, depending on their life. Often than not, however, the way we carry these things tend to be haphazardly thrown into the abyss that are pockets in a backpack or a handbag. A lot of the time, getting lost in the ether, probably getting scratched and knocked around in the process. And you end up fumbling around, trying to find them again later on. A new product by Orbit Key could be a potential solution to all of these troubles. But if you're new to the channel, I do unboxings, reviews, and cover items mainly to do with tech and lifestyle, with a little bit of an Aussie twist. If that interests you, do consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon. But now, let's talk about Orbit Key. I don't know if you can call it a startup anymore, since it's been established for over six years now, but it's an Australian company based in Melbourne. Automatically, that's the tick in my book. But then I do also love the work that these guys have done over the last six years, making it easier to organize life. Starting with their first ever Kickstarter project, the original key organizer. For me, it's consistently been the organizer of choice for my keys and the quality of their products have remained top notch. Now, as they say, history will repeat itself and they've gone back to their organizing roots with Kickstarter and launched their latest product, an organizing beast called The Nest. Symbolic in that, like a bird looking after her eggs, this too could hold and look after some of the most important possessions that you have and protect it but ultimately it's an elegant looking organizer for your everyday carry. It could be for anything really, not just for techno gadget geeks like myself. Lip balm, hand sanitizer, glasses, whatever you need organizing in your life, give it a go. Now just as a preface before we delve into the product itself, the model I've been using whilst already feeling of tip top quality is still considered pre-production. So there may or may not be some changes that will come before the campaign finishes. So do keep that one in mind. So the nest. Now admittedly, I started out this review as a bit of a skeptic. I mean, do I really need an accessory for all my accessories? We've got so many material things these days that end up in landfill. Wouldn't this just be another product to add to our environmental woes? But fortunately, I put my skepticism aside and with an open mind, I can say that I really enjoyed using the Nest and if it was up to me, I'd probably keep using this day in, day out. Now I've used the Nest on a day-to-day -day road test just over a week to see how it fit into my lifestyle and I can say I've really enjoyed the convenience of having access to all my essential everyday items in a single box that I can easily access. What I found is that if you don't do much public transport commuting, you could actually realistically get away with carrying just the Nest with you on its own. It can be that liberating. But like any product, it's not without a few small niggles, so we will get to that. And so externally, it looks like any old box, but as per usual with Orbit Key, it has a real quality feel to it. Every Orbit Key Nest comes with six small Velcro dividers and a braided USB-C cable for the wireless charging pad. Other than that, it's actually a rather simple package. The Nest is separated by two components, an upper lid made of a hard plastic with a faux leatherette texture on top and a lower compartment with a nice canvas material. It'll be interesting to see how well this material holds up over time, how easy it stains, how easy it is to clean if need be. Then both components are held together by an elastic binder using a unique latch mechanism that we'll have a closer look at in just a bit. At this point in time, the elastic band's got a nice bit of tensile strength to it and so strong enough so when you're commuting, you can actually secure something like a notebook or even in my case, a Kindle to it. Now, as we know, most elastic materials do wear out over time, so it'll be interesting to see how long this one holds up. Now, as mentioned before, the lid is held on by a cool mechanism that allows a dual function in that it can be completely removed or flipped up depending on what you need in whatever situation. Lifting it straight up allows it to be completely detached from the bottom case for maximal access, or if you only need quick access, then it can be flipped up instead like a clamshell. For my daily purposes, I've been able to stash away a set of AirPods, a power bank, an extra power adapter, a couple of cables, and that's just as an example. It can definitely fit most people and their lifestyles, regardless of whether you work as a photographer, you work in an office, you freelance, or you're just a student. I reckon it'd also do well to fit frequent flyers and travelers alike to fit all the essentials, and that's including things like a passport. Inside the top lid is a soft silk feeling liner that can securely fit a couple of SD cards, a couple of business cards, or frequently used credit or debit cards. It's also got a mesh pocket on the side that's slightly stiffer than you might expect, and it can fit loose items like a dongle, a security tracker from say Chipolo, or a tile tracker, or paperwork like an A5 notebook, and as I mentioned before, a passport. And actually, 
Small tip, Orbitkey are giving backers the chance to bundle in a Chipolo tracking accessory with the Nest, and that's at a discounted rate too. So if you're keen, go check that out. Now one thing I noticed though is that even in the short period of time using the Nest, the material on the inner lining did start molding to the shape of items put in place, like the SD card or the business card. So for me, it does pose questions about long-term durability, but I guess we'll only answer that with time. And with that, give us a like if you're keen to see a long-term review of the Nest. Now moving on to the top of the lid, it also has a little depression that allows you to place your wallet, keys, and any other essential belongings for your convenience when you're sitting at a desk. And that's before we even talk about the 10 watt Qi wireless charger sitting just to the left of the lid. It's easily my favorite part of the Nest. I mean, there's so many devices with Qi wireless charging support now, and I just love being able to rock up to work, plonk my phone or AirPods onto the Nest, and know that it'll be sitting there getting juiced up. So long as you have access to a USB port or PowerPoint though, the Nest being such a useful and portable organizer, it would have been even better if it had a battery pack integrated straight into the lid, making it the real ultimate portable organizer. But hey, I guess that's what version two is for, right? In hint, orbit key. All combined though, I found that it tends to fit the majority of portable gadgets. It would have been nice to have a couple of extra size options though for either extra depth or width as it might not fit all portable gadgets. I mean, realistically, you're not gonna find a product that's both sleek and can fit all gadgets under the sun. I mean, that's what things like suitcases are for. Cheekily though, I did try to fit a Nintendo Switch inside and it was just barely too small. That really would have been the cherry on top. But overall, I do think the Nest is a good balance between sleekness and practicality. What also helps are all the small thoughtful details like the inclusion of the 90 degree angled USB-C cable, the solid metal button where the elastic band attaches to, the pen holder, and much more. You end up with a product that equals way more than the sum of its parts. It's a quality product that you didn't know you needed, but you can't imagine not having it once you've tried it out. In actual fact, I used this as one of my wireless chargers on the bedside table, and it allowed me to be so much more organized in the morning. You wake up, and all the essentials were ready to go in the one place. So it really helped me become more time efficient before work. Unfortunately, by the time this video is out, I'll probably have sent this back to Orbit Key, and that makes me sad, and probably late for work too. But I want to hear what you guys think of the Nest. Drop a comment below, is it useful, or just another accessory to buy and never use? I'm curious to hear what you think. If you're the first option, I'll have a link to Orbit Key's Kickstarter campaign in the description below if it's still active, and also a link to their website so you can check out all their other great products too. A basic Nest package on Kickstarter will start at around 89 US dollars or around 128 Aussie dollars, depending on the exchange rate. And that also includes the dividers and the USB-C cable as standard. The Kickstarter campaign will end around Friday, March 20, and they aim to ship it around June. Once the campaign is over, it'll eventually cost 120 US dollars. So if you're even remotely thinking about getting it, don't miss out on the discount by hesitating for too long. But that's about it for the Orbit Key Nest. It's a really useful item that I was really skeptical about, but I have turned around and now I'm a believer. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like. And if you haven't, do consider subscribing. As always, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Say good day to your mum for me. Cheers.